Isn't that banning cryptocurrencies altogether? Pay attention. This is how they get you. Hey guys, welcome back to Library of Wealth. Today we have Cardano founder Charles Hoskinson talking about the crash in the crypto market, as well as the reason behind it and where the market is headed this year. Hoskinson says that the global economy is set to collapse as institutional investors have been dumping their crypto and most are looking at it as a high risk, high return asset. Many investors consider the recent turn of events as historic and massive in size. While weighing in on the unraveling of UST, Hoskinson says that a collapse of a stablecoin or a project exit scam does not mean it's the end of the entire industry and that the whole point of the crypto market is to restore that lost credibility, trust, and stability in the global money system. Here he'll outline some of the predictions for the crypto market, including the crash we're seeing now, as well as what the Fed might do next after its recent rate hike and how crypto markets will be affected across the board. You got to be very careful with administrations that are very politically skilled. So the Biden administration in particular, they've been around for a very long time. And these administrations, they tend to bury very important things in bureaucracy. So the vast majority, the super majority of American citizens will never see this report, never care about this report, have nothing to do with this particular report. But if you go to page seven right here, again, just bury these things deep inside the guts of bureaucracy. To ensure the responsible development of digital assets, recommendations including the following actions for consideration. The very first bullet point, minimize GHG emissions. Okay, so what's GHG emissions? Those are the emissions for running a blockchain. Environmental justice. Yeah, you gotta love that everything is justice now. Impacts and other impacts for crypto assets. So the EPA and the Department of Energy and other federal agencies should provide technical assistance and initiate a collaborative process with states, communities, and the crypto asset industry and others to develop effective evidence-based environmental performance standards for the responsible design, development, and use of environmentally responsible crypto asset technologies. So in other words, EPA and DOE are going to start talking to crypto companies, should talk to them, to basically tell them to change the way that their cryptocurrencies work. In which way? Well, these should include standards for very low energy intensities, low water usage, low noise generation, clean energy usage by operators, and standards that strengthen over time for additional carbon-free generation to match and exceed additional electricity load of their facilities. Should these measures prove ineffective at reducing impacts, uh, they always bury the lead, the administration should explore executive actions and Congress might consider legislation to limit or eliminate the use of high energy intensity consensus mechanisms for crypto mining. In other words, Bitcoin should be banned. That's how you read that. Even though Hoskinson considers the Cardano blockchain the spiritual successor to Bitcoin, he does give credit where it's due. Hoskinson says that the Cardano network is superior because it's not hindered by lapses, thus making it stronger. Now, it's kind of funny that all the Bitcoin maximalists, when the uh, Lemus bill came out, were advising Senator Lemus and, uh, and Gillibrand uh, to ban proof of stake and use the heavy hand of government to go after us. But boy, does it when the shoe's on the other foot, doesn't it? that the White House is now basically hiding in page seven a report no one will ever see or read. Hey, you know, nice thing you got there with proof of work, but uh, you, know, you know, global warming bad, so we should ban it. And we'll soft ban it by having the EPA and uh, DOE come in and basically create standards that you can't adhere to. And then when you can't, create some form of executive order or legislation to basically prevent you from being able to do it or destroy your profit margins so it's no longer profitable for the American mining industry. Sucks, doesn't it? So that's how governments work, especially the United States government. They're like this. Uh, they say one thing and they do another thing. Uh, they tell you there's gonna be a great policy and then a committee comes together that you've never heard, you know nothing about, you've never seen, and they draft a report basically saying the most valuable cryptocurrency in the world probably is illegal, should be, because carbon. That's simple. 
we watch and Pepperidge Farm remembers. We remember, we, uh, we listen to these things, we see these things. So every now and then I bring this to people's attention. Now, we predicted that this was gonna be a huge fight as an ecosystem, which is why uh, I've been pushing very hard for proof of useful work because then your consensus algorithm does more than just secure a cryptocurrency. It also provides a large distributed computer for hire. So the same regulations will hit data centers, you know, big computing centers, the stuff Amazon does and Microsoft does will then apply to cryptocurrencies as well, because you get a big computer out of the game. So we have a protocol called Ophelimos that we developed specifically for this. And we showed that protocol at crypto just recently, highly recommend you guys check it out and take a look at it. Um, and uh, our recommendation is that Bitcoin consider adopting this. And maybe one day we'll write a BIP to talk about it. Uh, we'll also see if we can get other people to do that. Now, I doubt that that community is going to move in that direction, but it's very clear that there are people in this administration and in uh, various political parties throughout the world that really do want to start carbon scoring the mining of cryptocurrencies. Now, I've also always taken the position that proof of stake is a vastly superior consensus mechanism in many ways, assuming you can address the network design requirements and the security requirements, which is why we spent seven years of innovation with Ouroboros and brought it to market. And the report does accurately reflect that we have a massive advantage in terms of energy usage. This is not the only governmental report generated that mentions proof of stake and Cardano specifically. Now, the Bitcoin maximalists, because they're a religion, will refuse to acknowledge or believe that proof of stake in any capacity is legitimate. That's their prerogative, but it's very clear that there's a red target now on their back. And actually, for those who want to ban cryptocurrencies, they have the one-two punch of saying mining should be banned because it's not ecologically friendly and proof of stake should be banned because they're securities. So wait a minute, do we have any options? Yeah, of course you do. Use JP Morgan Chase or Goldman Sachs. Use a CBDC. Use a centralized offering. Isn't that banning cryptocurrencies altogether? Pay attention. This is how they get you. They don't get you in big speeches. Uh, they don't get you in a presidential debate or arguing on the floor of the Senate. They kill you with bureaucracy. They get you with subtle little reports that are written that have recommendations embedded within them uh, saying subtle little things that a bureaucrat that you've never met have no influence or power over and cannot be fired, basically gets to have unilateral authority over your life, your livelihood, and your ability to participate. That is what they do. And this is how they're gonna try to get the industry, little by little. It's just the same with going after cryptocurrencies. Instead of going after them directly, because super expensive and hard, why don't you go after the exchanges and destroy liquidity? See, different route, same outcome. What do you think about Charles Hoskinson's prediction for the global crypto and financial markets? The next few months will be a good indicator as we look to corrections in the cryptocurrency and stocks, as well as how the Federal Reserve plans to map out interest rates for the rest of the year. Comment down below on what you think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is Library of Wealth. We'll see you in the next video.